This episode of Android Authority is brought to you by Audible. Go to audiblepodcast.com slash authority for a free audiobook download of your choice when you sign up today. You ask, we answer. It's Android Authority Q&A for August 21st, 2013. Hey everybody, I'm Chris Wilk, and it's good to be back. Thanks to Josh for filling in. Now, on to the questions. Johnny77 says, I'm considering buying the new Nexus 7, but what are the key differences between the two tablets? Is it worth the upgrade, or should I wait? One of the biggest differences is the screen resolution. The original Nexus 7 had 1280 by 800 resolution, while the new one has 1920 by 1200 resolution, so everything's going to look a lot clearer and generally a lot better. The specs are also pretty much higher all across the board, with the exception of storage, which is the same as the original Nexus 7. Is it worth the upgrade? Yes. Should you wait? Well, I don't know what you're waiting for. If you're waiting for the new Nexus 7, you're probably in for a long wait, so you might want to snap this one up. Akash asks, will the Nexus 5 be available internationally when it launches? We know so little about the Nexus 5 or Nexus 4 version 2 right now, that it's impossible to say for sure, but since the original Nexus 4 worked internationally, it's probably a safe bet to say that the 5 or 4 version 2 will as well. How easy it'll be to buy internationally, though, is a different story. We'll have to wait and see on that one. HR says, hello, Chris. Hello. I've heard rumors of a Samsung Note 12.2 device, and I'm quite interested in purchasing one. Have you any idea of the release dates and or whether these rumors are true or just speculations? Thank you. It definitely looks like Samsung is preparing a 12.2 inch tablet. Details are pretty scarce, but back in July, EV Leak said that Samsung is preparing a 12.2 and a 10 inch tablet. When it comes to the release date, some rumors are saying October, but we're not really sure yet. That's just a rumor. Stay tuned for more information though. Emerald BZ says, I currently own the LG Optimus G Pro and I love it. But with the recent announcement of the LG G2, Will LG update the Optimus G Pro with some features from the G2, like guest mode, slide aside, or text link? As far as I know, there's currently no word on bringing G2 features to the Optimus G Pro. As to whether or not that'll happen, it's sort of tricky. LG does stand to bring some more customers to the G2 by keeping those features exclusive. On the other hand, they'll definitely make people happy if they bring some of those new features to existing hardware. We'll just have to see what happens. Giovanni says, ever since I moved my apps to my SD card on my Galaxy S4, the app logos have been missing and they only come back when I download an app from the Play Store. Any help, please? First of all, just let me say, that's pretty weird. But what I would try first is going into settings and moving the apps back to the internal storage. If that fixes the problem, try moving the apps back to the SD card and see if you have your problem again. If that doesn't help, I'd say try rebooting your phone. I know it sounds simple, but that can fix a lot of problems. Christian says, I use the Acer Liquid E2. Do you know when Google will release the 4.3 update for the E2? First things first, that's not actually up to Google. It would be up to either Acer or your carrier. But unfortunately, so far, there's been no word yet on 4.3 coming to the E2. That doesn't mean that we won't see it, just that I wouldn't expect to see it too soon. And that wraps it up for this week, folks. Now remember, this show is powered by your questions, so keep them coming. To ask us a question of your own, head to the link down below in the description. Make sure to stay tuned to Android Authority for news, reviews, tips, tricks, giveaways, Q&A, and more. I'm Chris Wilk, and thanks for watching.